Let's have a look at the side by side comparison between the coordinate tolerancing and the GDNT method for the same drawing and understand how exactly does it help for inspection. So this is the drawing, drawing 1 and drawing 2. Both of these drawings convey the same output that is the hole should be positioned with respect to the edges. 25 plus or minus 0.5 and 35 plus or minus 0.5 but on the, on the first drawing is using the coordinate tolerancing or traditional method and the second drawing is using the GDNT method. Now the second drawing will show how the part should be located sequentially. So the inspector will know that the part has to be rested on A then has to be moved towards B then it has to be moved towards C so the part will be located by the inspector sequentially depending on the drawing. Then a pin gauge will be inserted to verify that this hole is within the position or uh, tolerance or not. So the location of the hole is verified by inserting a pin gauge after the part has been located with respect to A, B and C datums. So the inspector is fully guided as to what is to be done to inspect the position of that hole. So all the guidelines are encoded into the GDNT language. But if we take the example of the first drawing that is the traditional method, there is no specific guidance on how to inspect the part, how to locate the part and the inspector may not constrain the degrees of freedom of the part which will lead to errors in measurement and will lead to unreliable measurements. So this is the difference GDNT makes with respect to inspection.